Hey guys, so I'm just going to show you a way that you can dye your virgin hair jet black. Um, the color dye that I, the kind of dye I'll be using is dark and lovely, and it's in the color jet black. I already mixed it up, and um, I'll just show you all the steps that you can do from the conditioning and the washing. So as you can tell, first I just like to put the dye all over the hair. And um, please make sure you protect your counter. I have trash bags under the hair and then I have um, newspaper because <laughs> you don't want to do that. So yeah, I put the dye all over the hair and then I separate the hair into two parts. And then I, um, you know, just saturate the hair and dye. Um, when you first get virgin hair, of course it's unprocessed hair so it's like brown and, you know, I necessarily don't like brown on me. So I'm just dyeing it jet black just to get that color. And I'm like I said, I'm just rubbing in the dye all over the hair, making sure that you know I really saturate this hair with this black dye. And then I'm using a um brush that you can use when you apply when you're bleaching your hair. And I'm just using that to make sure that I comb the color through the hair, all of the hair. So that I make sure I don't miss anything. And this is also going to straighten this for me so I can apply more dye and really saturate this hair. And also, I'm applying dye to the ends of the hair. This particular hair itself, the ends of it was very, very brown, like really light. And I was like, oh no. So I'm really applying a lot of dye to the ends of the hair so that it can really take well. And then all you do is flip the hair over and you apply more dye to the back of it. Now I'm not saying this is the only way that you can do, but I just wanted to show your video step by step on how you can dye hair. And once again, I'm just going over it with um, a brush, an applicator brush, and um, straighten it out and making sure that I get all this color through this hair. And I absolutely love Dark and Lovely's um, hair dye. I do it on my natural hair and it's so lovely, especially in jet black. So once I finish dyeing the hair, all I do is I hang it up on a hanger and I just let it hang for a good 30, 35 minutes. And um, yeah, you can hang it up anywhere, but I just like to use a hanger. I think that's pretty cute. And that's how I hang up my hair. Usually it's in the bathroom though, hanging in the shower. And then once you let it hang for about 35 minutes or so, not an hour, you just want to rinse all the products out. And um, your water can be lukewarm. You don't want it extremely hot. You don't want it too cold. But you just... Um, make sure that you rinse all of the hair dye out and with this particular hair I can tell if the hair dye is still in because it looks like it has dandruff or something in it <laughs> and I can tell there's still product on the hair so yeah you just rinse it out really really well And you can also take off your gloves for this process because the dyeing is over so it, your hands won't really get affected by the dye and you can still tell there's products on it because you get that soapy like material still washing off and you want to make sure that there's no more you know soap suds you know coming off of the hair you want to make sure that the water runs clear and then once you finish washing it out you can just wring the hair out like a towel or anything and then what came with this hair dye was this moisture rich conditioner and you apply this once you finish washing out the hair and then you let this sit for about three minutes i let my conditioner sit for about five and i did three bundles some so one of them was up there for a good eight minutes but that's not bad at all and once you apply the conditioner to the hair you can hang it up and like i said let it stay there for at least you know three to five minutes and I'm just applying it all over. And that's what it looks like. Now I'm going to take this bundle that I already conditioned. And now I'm going to wash this conditioner out. Now you really want to make sure you get all of this conditioner out of the hair. So that you know you don't have any leftover residue in the hair. 
and um i'm just combing through and this hair was so pretty while i was washing it so i just really was like this is awesome so yeah i was just combing through making sure that i you know get it all out run the water through it and that's it and now you could tell already that this hair is black it really took like i said when i first started this hair was brown as heck i was like oh no i cannot get with this And make sure you rinse this hair out really, really well because um, once you hang it up like how I do, you'll have it dripping overnight and you don't want that because it'll drip into the, the floor and stuff like that. And um, once I finish um, wringing it out and combing it and stuff, I put it right back on the hanger and I hang it up in the bathroom. And um, that's all. And I let it stay there overnight, let it to air dry. And then you'll see your product in the morning. And then I'll show you at the end of the video what it looks like. You can really tell that the black took from it. And that's about it. So I really appreciate you all watching my video. I hope that this was very helpful to you all. And um, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Once again, this is your girl, Nee, And I will be back with you guys later. Bye.